So guys, a new update on New World with new content, a new limited time event. Today we get into it all, guys. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. To give back to you guys, I'm giving a single person the chance to win 10,000 marks of fortunes. To be in the chance of winning this, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners will be announced at the end of the week and I will pick a winner from my comments section. So good luck everybody. So Amazon New World not long tweeted out and today we get into the entire post and it is the December PTR announcement. The public test realm announcement. Okay, so they start with Hello Adventurers. Eternum is an ever evolving world and as such we continue our efforts in providing our players an assortment of ongoing new features, content and changes similar to the activities leading up to our latest major update. We are approaching the release of our next large patch and would like to once again invite you all to participate in the next cycle of our public test realm. So we know what the public test realm is, if you don't know you'll see that on screen now people, if you want to pause the video and read through that be my guest. But it's basically a server which they drop in which people can queue to join where you can test these new features that's basically the lowdown on it okay so new limited time content and look at that big old dirty dude there looking absolutely amazing christmas presents i'm seeing all sorts here people okay so the winter convergence festival sounds pretty epic paper the holiday of the winter convergence has arrived in a tournament marked by the appearance of increased snowfall and northern lights in the sky this is a time of duality and dichotomy as a yeti, the winter wanderer, comes to the land. While in the settlements, gifts are exchanged to mark the passing of the year. Outside the safety of the walls, there rages a wintry war between the positive forces of the winter, championed by the winter wanderer's positive side, and the negative forces of winter are championed by the winter wanderer's negative side. The player takes on the cause of the winter wanderer to collect winter tokens from repeatable events across the island. Able to turn them into a holiday shop containing rare and cosmetic items. The winter wanderer's positive aspect grows in power with each token collected and turned in. Icy winds and the winter wanderer bring with them new armors, weapons, furnishings, skins, consumables and delightful present gifting emotes, all themed off the wonderful Eternum holiday of winter convergence. Pretty cool people, I cannot wait for that. Okay, so winter villages. The winter wanderer set up four villages to facilitate the joy and cheer of winter convergence. Visit these villages in Everfall, Monarchs Bloss, Rivers Fen and Brightwood to meet the winter wanderer and carry out his holiday quests. Winter convergence activities. The convergence spirit. Celebrate the spirit of the season by giving a helping hand in decorating your favorite settlement. The convergence spirit is a special time project that allows players to complete special time project quests to upgrade each settlement's tree of light for improved daily rewards. Sounds cool. Last present recovery. Those bastardly frigid folk are spreading their mischief and stealing presents across the turnip. Located throughout the world are lost presents to be recovered and turned in for winter tokens at the winter villages holiday huts. Green might collected, bright glittering gleaming glimite meteors of multitude of colour fall from the night sky during this time of the year. As destructive as they are beautiful. Gleaming showers are a new random dynamic event that occurs at night throughout a turnip. Keep your eyes and ears open as you search for locations where the showers are most prevalent. Exchange your harvested crystals for winter tokens at the winter village holiday huts. Happy hunting. So they go on to ice caves. Wow, that's cool. Ice caves are appearing all over a turnip due to the winter warriors desire for a forever winter. They are snowy and icy caves that they yet to use their powers to freeze up and make snow fall. The rest of a tournament will look like these ice caves if the onslaught of the warrior is not stopped. These caves will remain behind after the event as scars on the land, sources of the wintry magic that refuse to melt even if the warrior is defeated. Cool. 
new content, new quests. In addition to the new quest series offered by the Winter Wanderer for the Convergence Festival, there are also several new side story territory quests offered in Restless Shore and Morningdale. This update also introduces a new quest series associated with housing. After you've completed the main story quest, Encroaching Corruption, seek out Architect Giacomo Altoviti near your starting settlement to begin the quest series. Further quests with this dude will be unlocked as you level up and progress territory standing. New Journal Categories New quest categories have been added to the journal for epic weapons and armor quests for the skill progression quests. This update is accompanied by new map pins for all quest types. Nice. New features, expertise and gypsum system. Based on feedback on the high water mark system and our desire to have a compelling and diverse end game, we've made some major changes to that end game. We've added a new resource called gypsum that can be acquired each day by doing a variety of activities. Open world named bosses, expedition bosses, outpost rush, arenas, corrupted breaches, etc. Each activity rewards a different type of gypsum that can be crafted into a gypsum orb. These orbs can be then crafted into gypsum casts of any weapon, armor, or trinket type. Opening a gypsum cast will guarantee an expertise bump and gear of that type. Nice. We've also renamed High Watermark to Expertise and now display the current Expertise level of each slot on your avatar in the inventory, so players can easily track their progress. That's pretty cool. We also show a level up banner anytime your Expertise level increases. That's pretty cool too. Lastly, we've added two new endgame POIs where players can challenge themselves with difficult content and try to progress their Expertise with level 6 of 6 enemies and elite chests. Both Malevolence in Eden Grove and the Imperial Palace, Northern Dynasty Shrine have been leveled up to 66. Pretty cool, people. Look forward for that too. Trade Skill Aptitude. We want to continue rewarding the efforts you make to craft items for yourself, your friends, or to make a buck on a trading post. So we have introduced Trade Skill Aptitude. Upon reaching level 200 in Trade Skill, the leveling circle will update to show three markers equidistant from each other on this circle. Earning trade skill XP will begin progressing your gain. And when you reach one of these markers, you'll be rewarded with a container of useful items that are mostly trade skill relevant, such as craft mods, special ingredients, and even schematics and recipes. Each subsequent marker awards a more spectacular container with more rewards than the one before. Gaining enough XP to go all the way around the circle will increment the aptitude counter by one. This counter will keep counting so you can keep track of how many times you've wrapped your progression around the top level. That's a system I actually love the sound of. We've also introduced a new type of reward with this system, equipment patterns. Equipment patterns are crafting artifacts that enable you to craft a guaranteed gear score item of a 600 that has a specific appearance. Cool. Patterns require a significant amount of powerful crafting resources to create, but guarantee a gear score 600 item. Patterns still roll perks and players have the normal amount of control over their outcome with craft mods and Azov. Equipment patterns have a small chance to drop from arcana, weaponsmithing, armoring, and engineering aptitude reward caches. Pretty cool. Okay, so PvP balance changes. And if you are interested in those PvP changes, guys, PvP ain't really my thing, I'm not gonna lie. But if it's for you, you can pause the video now and read through those. But yes, guys, some amazing things coming. Can't wait for the new limited time event and get my hands on that. It's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. I'd probably say middle of December we'll get this. No announcement on the date has been confirmed yet, but we will see we will see. Now the PCR service will be officially open tomorrow which is December 3rd at 10 a.m. PT at 6 p.m. UTC. But when the actual limited time content arrives in the full game we don't know yet. But there we have it guys and we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. Tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. If you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next. One.